Okay, so at this stage we're very nearly there. And one thing we need to do still is to set up our ESCs and make sure our motors are working correctly and spinning in the right direction. Um, and we've already seen the motors tab in beta flight, but if we have uh, any of the motors spinning in the wrong direction, and you remember I said we have um, innies at the front and outies at the back, um, <clears throat> If any of those are wrong, we need to go into uh, some software called BL Heli uh, to rearrange that, okay, to fix that. Uh, the other thing that this is used for is to flash your ESCs, so update the firmware on your ESCs if that's necessary. It probably won't be, you'll probably find that you've got the latest version anyway, but I'll show you how to do that uh, in any case. So two things we're going to do. We're going to make check our motors are spinning in the right way, the right direction, and um, just go through the, the, the flash process as well. So <clears throat> if you went and you um, just did a Google search for BL Heli Suite 32 on GitHub, I'll have links in the, in the uh, lesson as well, um, you'll come to this page here. So it's the, it's the first page here, all right, that one there. And you scroll down and you'll get to the BL Heli 32 info page and the BL Heli 32 downloads. And we go to releases, click on that, and then you'll come to the latest, whatever is the latest release at the time. Don't go pre-release, go latest release, uh, which is 38.12. So you basically go ahead and download whichever version you want uh, for your operating system, Linux, Macs. Um, and um, <clears throat> for uh, Windows, okay, so that will be presumably that one for Windows. Um, da -da -da, that's for Mac, that's 64, that's Linux 64, so we'd have to go 32 there. All right, so it's a 32 bit app, and download that, uh, unzip it, um, install it. Um, and in fact, it, it's not an installable file, you'll basically you'll get. Um, a bunch of files um, in um, in uh, BL Heli, okay. So you'll have a folder uh, downloaded um, after you unzip it, and within that folder you'll see an executable file, a .exe file, and just click on that, and you'll come up with the BL Heli. So we'll just connect up our uh, quad via USB and so then we'll see uh, down here we should see again the, uh, the COM port that you want to connect on okay uh, connect on that all right and nothing really happens but we need to actually now plug in uh, a battery to read the ESCs. So we've got four ESCs, and I'm just going to turn my fan on again to keep my ESC cool here. Now we can click uh, check, and you'll see uh, four uh, ESCs found and good. All right. Uh, if you find one of these is empty, just just click OK and maybe check it again. All right. So. First thing we're going to do here, so we do have um, all our ESCs. Uh, you can right click on one to uh, select a single ESC, okay, or you can just single click, left click to get uh, all four up, okay. So if you're working with one, you just right click here to do that particular one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to check our motors and make sure that they're spinning in the right direction. Um, and you click OK there, might reboot it, OK, and you get the same kind of um, uh, screen that you saw in beta flight where you have to check this. So you have to absolutely make sure that you have your props off again. So as a reminder, I'm just going to bring this across here, and we can remember our direction of our motors, OK. Um, and if we go and check motor one first, all right, let's just go and we can very uh, slightly push that up. 
and we can check if that is spinning in an outward direction, which it is, which I can, which I can feel that it is. Okay, so that's motor one checked. Motor two uh, is this one here, and this should be spinning inwards, okay, innies at the top. So we'll just very slightly move that up. Again, don't forget you can use the up arrow if you want. And I can feel that that is going in the wrong direction. So we can open a notepad here and just put in motor two, reverse, reverse, okay. Uh, let's check motor three, which was this bottom, uh, the back right, what the left one, sorry. So motor three, and this should be spinning outwards which it is, okay, that looks good. Pull that down, and then motor four at the front on the left should be spinning inwards. And I can feel that, that is spinning outwards in this direction. So motors two and four need to be reversed. Motor two reverse and motor Four reverse there, all right? And that's fairly straightforward, okay? So once we've done that, uh, we can uncheck, uncheck that if you want uh, and go back to ESC setup. You'll need to connect again. You're already plugged in, so it should, uh, it should be okay. It kind of reboots it when you, when you do that. So let's just ch double check it again. We've got four there. All right, and uh, we're going to go to motor two. So we want to right click on motor two and we want to click on motor direction reversed. And then we want to click on four and we want to click on reversed there. All right, and then we click right setup. Right, okay, and motor two. Sorry, I should have done that, uh, a right setup on that one there. Okay, uh, ESC2 is reversed now. So we should be able to see, uh, so one is normal, two is reversed, three is normal, and four is reversed. Okay, so now we can go back and just double check our, our motors. So we'll check the two at the front should be facing inwards, spinning inwards. So we do the same thing, go back in here. So let's check motor two on the right first and check that that is going inwards now, which it is. Okay, I can feel that's pushing my finger that way, just very lightly touch. Okay, as long as you don't have the motor spinning crazily. Okay, just very slightly and motor four uh, should also be spinning inwards, so, and yes it is. So that's fantastic. So we've got our motors set up in the right direction now. The only other thing I should show you is the, the, the ESC flash here, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, we need to check them and make sure that they've got them all. Okay, and again, we checked, they all come up here, and we see that we've got F50, VL Heli 32, 401, revision 32.8, which is actually the, uh, the up-to-date version. But you can actually go and verify this. So you, let's just do it for one. So you can verify the selected ESC there, um, and it can verify it. So it's verified against 32.8, yep, and the target successfully, no difference is found we don't actually need to, to do that. So if we actually went into that, to ESC1, and um, please, uh, ESC1 and the hex file flash already have the same firmware version, so we don't need to do that, okay? So if, if you wanted to reflash it, or you had a different version, updated version, uh, you could go ahead and flash that there. So those are the two things that you need to be able to do in BL Heli.